Hey guys, Boxman here with another world recap against the Clans SJ, and we came out on top, 53 to 43. Uh, we did have a little problem. Our number four, who's the Tunnel 10, with like higher than 20 heroes, attacked a freaking Tunnel 8 at the bottom. Needless to say, he was out before he could even get a second attack in. Uh, anyway, moving forward, we're gonna start with number 18, which is a Tunnel 8 versus Tunnel 8, and this is a Dragloon by our very own LMC Darkness. And uh, you see she's going to come in with uh, two dragons to start a funnel and another dragon just to kind of help clear some of that trash. And then she's going to send the rest of her dragons in toward that archer tower. She really wants to get them into those air defenses pretty fast and that air sweeper. Um, you have, she hasn't deployed her CC which is just going to be uh, all loons and she's got a haste spell for them. She's going to be using that rage on the dragons as they need it and then uh, the haste on the loons and king for cleanup. And uh, you can see she just absolutely demolishes this base. And this is a, not entirely max base, but it's very, very close. Only maybe like a small handful of defenses left on it. It was very, very close to max. Uh, anyway, didn't even really need king ability pretty much. Didn't really need a king probably. So, good job LMC. Uh, next raid I want to look at is going to be... Uh, Narsh versus the Town Hall 9. He's a Town Hall 9 too. On uh, our number 9. This is going to be kind of a short re war recap because most of these bases were very bad in their war and so we just used a lot of Valk attacks and I'm not really going to bring those here because I've shown those in previous war recaps. Nothing special. Um, so we're going to come over here with uh, Quakes. He just does a Grovajo. Uh, Quakes open. A good chunk of this base with that Quake right there. Really bad uh, base design. I really don't recommend Tano 9s or Tano 8s for that matter using anti 2 star bases. And really I don't recommend anybody using anti 2 star bases because they're just not good. It's a great way to get 3 starred by these hybrid strategies. Or even by uh, Tano 11 get 3 star or Tano 10 even by bowlers and miners. So he comes in, sends in the Valks. Uh, his queen's on the, and wizards are on the dragon. His Valks are going in. I believe he puts a heal spell down for them to keep him up because they start to get low in health. They eat up a bomb which is good for the hogs. And then he sends the hogs in over here on this like 8 o'clock side and he's just gonna heal them up as they need it. There's obviously no giant bomb spots in this base which is another reason why it's such a bad base. You definitely want to have your uh, double giant bombs in places that are hard to get to so that you can kill the hogs. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and time two here. This raid's pretty much over. Only 40 seconds left in the raid. Uh, he just demolishes this base. Good job, Narsh. Uh, gets a bomb there at the end, but had a heal spell pre-play, so it doesn't even matter. That is a terrible double giant bomb spot because the hogs only trip one at a time, which is like completely useless. Like that's not even gonna hurt them in a heal spell. So yeah, this raid's over. Uh, the next one I want to bring you, and this will be the last one for this for this recap, is gonna be Brian versus uh, number one. He's Town 11. They're both Town 11s. And uh, he just uses mass miners and just demolishes this base. And you can see it's under upgraded. Uh, not all the defenses are max. Even the air defenses aren't all max, which is pretty crazy to me. Uh, pretty low heroes um, versus our max heroes on Brian, which just doesn't stand a chance. So he just brings his archers down. We'll time stay here for a second. Uh, just brings archers down to get as much percentage as he can and try to help get the miners inside the base and not have them going around gonna clear that trash ring. Then he comes in with his uh, heroes and a golem, some wall breakers to get him in, and then just starts with those miners and just sends them everywhere. He's got the heal spell down for when they might need him. Um, I guess his goal is to get into those uh, into that core as fast as he can. That's why he's got the second set of wall breakers. He really wants that queen to take out that eagle pretty fast. He's got a, a, a free spell down for that second inferno. He actually has a dragon and loons coming in with the double heal, and they end up leaving the heal and following the miners, but it, you can see it's not going to matter. He's still going to the star of the space with no problem. So we'll go ahead and time Stewie here. Um, really not a whole lot left. Yeah, he's got the wizard towers, and uh, the dragon's going to take out these miners here in the core, but the queen's going to take out the dragon here in a second. It's not even going to matter at that point. Uh, he just enough miners left. That they're just going to clear through the rest of the space anyway. He still has his uh, king ability. Still has uh, queen ability. There's nothing left this base can do to stop this. It is uh, inevitable. So even with that giant bomb right there, it isn't even going to matter. So they come through. They finish off this base. What time's for it here? Only a couple seconds left, and that is a wrap. Good job, Brian. Um, 
that is all guys. I'll see you guys next time. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments. Subscribe to our channel so you get notifications about our next videos. Check out our website, thedarkobsidian.com. We post gym contests and a bunch more stuff there. Check out our Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And we'd love to hear from you guys. Hit us up anytime. And I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs>